What is up everybody and welcome back to the Satoshi Club where today I'm going to explain to you are cryptocurrencies anonymous? Well, the short answer is no, but there are cryptos that claim to be fully anonymous and one of them is pretty cool because you can actually choose anonymity or no anonymity. So let's say you want to send the transaction over and it asks you, do you want to send it as a shielded transaction or do you want to send it completely open to the world and you can make that choice so if you know which crypto i'm talking about right now before i even get into it make sure to comment down below and obviously like and subscribe to the channel and if you don't know well just stick around until the end of the video so let's just get straight into it spoiler alert bitcoin transaction can still be traced and since the 2008 original crypto white paper introducing blockchain technology many people have been asking around about is crypto truly anonymous now this is the original actual white paper of bitcoin it leads to the website itself but just taking a glance at the white paper is pretty cool and i do recommend it maybe even for a video in the future i take a look at the entire white paper and try to explain all of this technology to you so we can dive into the roots of a cryptocurrency now one more thing is very important to note a lot of financial crime has went on on Bitcoin and on other cryptocurrencies in the past few years or past several years, right? $3.6 billion, for example, in Bitcoin was seized just earlier this year. It's 2022, by the way, for those of you that are watching it you know, later on. But it was the largest financial seizure in the Justice Department's history and proves that Bitcoin can be traced, even though these guys have been looking for it for like six years they eventually caught up and they tracked the stolen Bitcoin through a complicated web of transactions spanning multiple countries. Now, here's the thing. It's very difficult to find the person who did it, but it's very easy to follow the money because Bitcoin, it has to be withdrawn. It has to move hands from one person to another. And eventually the blockchain does, you know, since I did make a blockchain video, which you can check out right here, the blockchain actually does keep an immaculate record of everything going on in chronological order. So if you follow the money far enough, you will find where the Bitcoin is. Now, it did take them six years. They did find it at the end. And some of the researchers actually noticed that there is traceability via these unintentional patterns in Bitcoin's transactional data. Now, these patterns can be identified, they can be tracked, and it could be different with other cryptocurrencies. This was just the case with Bitcoin. So let's not dive in too deep into which cryptocurrency is anonymous, which one's not. I'm going to give you two examples in a few minutes, and you can see uh, those are the few mainstream ones when it comes to promoting anonymity, but there definitely will be some other alternatives appearing in the future. Now, although the whole traditional decentralized finance peer-to-peer -peer approach does uh, you know, no banks, no governments. It does lay a perfect foundation or framework for privacy and anonymity. A few of these busts actually just tell us that it is not possible to have full anonymity on the cryptocurrency blockchain, which is a good thing. You know, you, you don't need full anonymity. Anonymity can only uh, promote. Well, it can promote both good and bad things, but it depends on what your view on the world actually is. So some people could view uh, you know, decentralization as a bad thing, you know, because there's no regulation, there's no central authority, people can just go absolutely crazy, act like, you know, they're in that one movie, uh, The Purge or whatever, but no, um, that's just not how it is. Um, other bad people will just use the anonymity to steal money, launder money and do all of this stuff, but that is why we do have regulations. So ideally, crypto would be anonymous but it would also be regulated then we get the best of both worlds that's just my opinion but you know if all of this financial activity can actually be traced then these cryptos like bitcoin are more pseudonymous than anonymous which means they hide your identity but they don't hide your transaction now a few of these experts sat down with cnet which is where i'm looking at this news right now and they say that bitcoins cannot be traced as demonstrated by this bust in manhattan recently but while there are certain ways that crypto does provide a level of anonymity, be aware of a lot of these cryptos that claim 100% anonymity at this point. So some of these are going to, uh, I'm going to show them to you in a minute or two. But uh, first and foremost, how exactly is crypto traceable, which is probably what you're wondering right now. Well, technology, guys, okay? Sophistication of these law enforcement tools. These guys in the FBI or whatever, they have absolutely everything they need to track you down, right? There is a... Uh, there's no, uh, literally no doubt about how amazing these institutions are. Whatever you've seen 
or heard of they have stuff that is a hundred times better so be very careful with whatever you're doing on the blockchain right don't do any fishy stuff and you'll be fine just use crypto the way it's intended to be used makes your transactions easier makes your life easier it makes you uh, you know invest a little bit, bit of money maybe make some money and just basically enjoy a very very fast and efficient form of transferring money now all of these transactions are recorded on the blockchain you have a chronological order and all of this stuff and mostly where everything is actually caught is following the money until the moment where it is converted into us dollars which is obviously a heavily regulated currency and everything is seen right it creates a distinct paper trail now, if you want to learn more, uh, learn more about it, you can read the article and I will leave it dropped down in the description below. And also, if you guys haven't given me a follow on, uh, you know, Twitter page, make sure to do so because the Satoshi Club is your one stop shop for crypto news, events and education in the crypto world. So lastly, how are suspicious crypto transactions reported? Well, they're reported through KYC. It refers to a financial services industry standard that protects against money laundering and other financial crime. A lot of these exchanges nowadays and banks and other institutions that are into the finance world need to have personal information of customers on file in order to be insured and to keep a track of everything going on. Well, so do crypto exchanges, right? All of these guys in the US and mostly around the world, every trusted crypto exchange, this is Coinbase, FTX, Binance, they all have KYC verification, which means you need to submit your identity if you want to use it, which is a safe tool for, you know, stopping money laundering and all of these other things that can be exploited with the use of cryptocurrency. Also, the FDIC is looking at new laws for crypto assets, which is completely normal. Now, some people claim that their cryptos are 100% anonymous. So one of them is Monero, right? Monero means money. It's a private decentralized crypto that keeps your finances confidential and secure. You choose a wallet, you get some coins, you use the currency as a crypto, and basically it is completely private, which is what they claim it is. Now, Monero is uh, probably the largest private or privacy enabling cryptocurrency out there, but do we trust it or do we not? I don't know. I wouldn't trust it. You know, if you have something very important to keep anonymous, would you really trust the cryptocurrency to do it? Well, maybe. I don't know. Monero has been there for a while. And one other one that has been there for probably even longer is Zcash. You know, Zcash is there for privacy and convenience. And Zcash is the crypto I mentioned at the beginning of the video that has optional anonymity. So you can choose whether or not you want to send a shielded transaction which keeps all your financial information private and in your control, or if you want it to be seen, which is a, you know, it's the first time this actually came out on the blockchain with Zcash. Now, are they still doing this? Are they doing it successfully? Are they able to, you know, get a market for it? Well, I don't really know. Haven't really heard of Zcash that much in recent times, but, uh, you know, there is cryptos out there that are trying to make something out of this anonymity, uh, you know, thing in the crypto world and you know maybe somebody does succeed in the future but that's pretty much it for today's video make sure to follow us on twitter if you haven't already um i hope you enjoyed it this little recap into our cryptos anonymous it is a short little video to explain some things to you and if you did enjoy it make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel hit the bell for those of you that stayed until the end of the video i'm going to be coming out with more videos on crypto basics in the future so this is going to be uh, you know, a pretty cool series before I start my next series, which, you know, just stay tuned and you might find out. So lastly, I'm not a financial advisor and you should do your own due diligence before investing into anything in the crypto or blockchain world. And I will see you all in the next video.